www.pondscape.us I guess uh, as far as pond and garden here's the garden section again um, I took video of this um, a few weeks ago when um, I was just starting it out so here's for uh, for comparison it's uh, <laughs> it's really coming a long way there's uh, quite a bit more in here and what was in here is uh, sprouting up pretty good I think and we got uh, some flowers starting to come already those things and um, these, these yellow ones here are about to bud there's you know they're budding they're about to flower they're a spring flower <laughs> same ones as uh, this one chick uh, took a picture um, on DeviantArt of those same types of flowers. I have no idea what they're called though. But yeah, this whole uh, area has just been kind of uh, barren and desolate for years and I just kind of got sick of looking at it because it was ugly and boring and I'm like, no. I want something that looks nice instead of looking like crap, so. I think it's coming out very well so far. Oh, man. I really, really do. And some weird guy in a car behind me said, whoa, man, for no apparent freaking reason. Whoa, man, that was weird. Okay. Of course, everything else around in our garden is uh, starting to come alive. <laughs> yes, that was the motorcycle flower. Anyway. Um, I just finished putting up my little wire constructs for the vines. Um, as you can check in uh, past pictures and stuff, uh, this whole area is going to be loaded up with uh, foliage and vines and every other thing. Right now it's mostly barren and things are just starting up. Just starting with this whole area is going to be like a lush forest. <laughs> I mean, it really does resemble a forest preserve when it's uh, kicked into full gear about midsummer. Even before then, usually. So, right now, everything's just kind of barely starting to spring back to life. But, man, once it gets going, what you're seeing here, it's going to be a whole different ball game. And of course, under my bushes has been mostly barren too, but um, we've been planting a bunch more stuff under there that thankfully has actually been surviving. Um, we've got more fertilizers under there and water reservoir stuff, and it gets watered a lot more. We got the hose there, a hose pretty much permanently. <laughs> so um, that gets a lot more. <coughs> excuse me, that gets a lot more water in that area now. So. And the land is more fertile now down there too, so that should make a huge, massive difference. This portion of the garden is, of course, coming along reasonably. Here's uh, my daffodils. They take like 10 years to even flower at all, and then that's it. <laughs> You've got to buy like $500 worth of daffodils to really have like a really nice daffodil garden because it's just stupid. <laughs> You've got to wait 10 years. Um, these are peonies. Look at how big they are. These things are really 
Hey, Lynn. Here's my neighbor, Lynn. Smile, you're on candid camera. And then, of course, uh, this side of the property on Lynn's side, we're trying to turn it from desolate rock into a lush garden. Um, last year, we did a reasonable job of, of that. A good start, at any rate. And it might be hard to see in this, but we've got a whole bunch more coming up again. All sorts of flower seedlings and stuff coming up. I recognize what they are. I totally recognize what this stuff is. So this is cool that this much of it has come back. Uh, there wasn't nearly this much uh, come up last year. And hopefully there's going to be a lot more than even this come up this year. So that's pretty cool how much even so far is coming back so um yeah I think this year it's going to be a lot greener and it's probably going to take another year or two to really turn it into uh, the lush garden that I'm looking to turn it into due to the difficult nature of uh, mostly rock and not very much soil of course, the uh, mint leaf we have over here is assisting with that too. Is it starting to come back up? Mint leaf is great for rejuvenating gardens. Ooh, are there anything popping up in here? Uh, hmm, I see a few tree seeds, but beyond that, can't really tell. Oh, and this battery is about to die. Crap. Oh, well. www.pondscape.us.